Yo, what is going on guys? NRUK Racing League here and welcome back to the NRUK Cup Series. This is round number three of the season coming to you from Las Vegas. We've seen some good action so far. It's been Roush Fenway dominating the first two races. Who comes out on top today? Which driver is going to go to victory lane? Without further ado, let's get in to your starting lineup. Out there. See... What has, what is going to happen here today? So, on the poll for today's race is the 10 of Max Anderson to the outside, the 22 of Riley Spurley Tube. Next up, we have the 2 of Adam McDowell and the 18 of of Mathis Wells followed up is the 19 of Carter Friesen and the 8 is Tyler Bradley behind them is Colton Yo and Logan Cloud who's the only Rash Fenway driver not to win this year <laughs> he wants to break that duck today might happen following up them is the 3 of Gunnar Matheson and the 14 of William Seaman up next Keith Stevens and the 88 of William Brock. Then we have the 12 of Ryan Dalton, Anthony Charlebois. Up next is Co Luigi and Michael Canto. Behind them is Alexander Rowe and Maggie Quattro. Ne next up, two other Hendrick cars that is Dash Baran and Artemi Fedorov. Followed by Joe Rutkowski and Jay Jefferson. On the next few rows is William Bulin and Daytona 500 champion Russell French. Followed by the 34 of Diego Yepes. The 21 is Greg Lee. Then we have the 36 of Patrick Zyke. The 43 is Nathan Ormond. Up next the two JTT Doherty racing cars of Joe Jefferson and Kaylee Bram. Followed by 95 of Jose Mills and the 23 that is Sebastian Kukulon. Up next is Jacob Rose and the 38 of James Stavolito. Then we have Anderson Reed and Luigi Octavo, Nicholas Wade and Summit Ozcan on the final row. James Waltrip and Peter on Jack. So Max Anderson for Stuart Haas Racing starts on the pole with Riley Spurley Tube on his outside. Here we go. At Vegas. What will we see today? Will we see another dominant performance like we did with the 60 of James Earnhardt? Or will we see a more competitive race with the Cup drivers? Max Anderson is on the pole then. With Spurly Tube on his outside. Penske finally having a good qualifying run today. That might be crucial here. It was in the Mid-George Series race. In the Mid-George Series race, not the most exciting we've ever seen. With a messed ending, really. But, um... Naomi looking to rebound today. All of the Cup Series drivers are going to go at it to see who is going to win. Pace car then will lead the field off of Pit Road. Max Anderson for Stuart Haas Racing. Spurly Tube on the outside. McDowell and Wells follow them behind. So a few drivers who have struggled early on this season. A win today would be crucial for them. Anderson is your points leader. Currently is in the playoffs based on that alone. So a win here today would extend that lead. And he'll be very happy with how his season's gone so far. But what other drivers can pull off an upset? Maybe today. Is Logan Cloud going to make it three out of three for Roush Fenway? And three different Roush Fenway drivers go to victory lane. But it's Max Anderson and Spurly Tube who lead on the front row. Coming down towards the green flag is in the air. We're racing. Mm -hmm. 
And already free wide into the turn. A big bold move from Adam McDowell on the inside. Spurly tubes shuffled up free wide. Look at them fan out down the back stretch. It's Anna McDowell who leads in this race. Carter freezing towards the inside with help from Colton Yo, Gunnar Matheson. And they race through and out of the turn. Lap number one is going to be led by the two car of Adam McDowell for Roger Penske. Racing. McDowell going to block down low. Matheson through to second in the 18 for Joe Gibbs. Friesen is also on the inside. Mathis's teammate, Colton Yo racing hard. Dow leads though so far. Here comes the 18 of Wells. Anderson staying on strong for third. And look at this, this is quite fantastic. Fantastic effort so far. What a race we're seeing here already as they go free wide for position behind them. It's Yo, Matheson and Friesen battling hard early on. What a start to this to the action here. We're only three laps in and they're doing a fantastic job of keeping on top of it here at Vegas. And it's McDowell who leads. It's a second and a big second so far for Mathis Wells. He's looking to rebound. He's had a poor start to the season. Not what that 18 team was hoping for. However, Wells wants to stay on top of things right now. He leads out in front. And the front two have a nice advantage. Anderson into third. A good fourth so far for Friesen, who stayed on after fading early, earlier on in the race. And the front three now go single file. Wells is racing, battling hard on the inside. But it's the two of Adam McDowell who's led the way so far. Can Wells find maybe something that the Mick George series drivers couldn't? And that's an overtake for the lead. Remember that Earnhardt led every single lap in the 60 in the Mick George series race on his way to victory. Will he do it again today? Or will we? Will that happen again today? Or will we see something different? Mathis Wells, hard on the bumper of the two. Towards the inside, the 18 of Mathis Wells. In to the lead. Can he clear him? He will. Mathis Wells, your new leader at Vegas. Cracking racing. But here comes Max Anderson. Trying to mount a charge on the inside. Friesen working hard. Spurly Tube still staying on within the top five. But it's Mathis Wells who will now lead out in front. He leads. The first lap of the season for Joe Gibbs. I think they haven't actually led a lap so far. Maybe Anthony Charbois did a few weeks back at Daytona, Daytona maybe. But this is finally a good run for this 18 team. team uh, this 18 team. They lead out in front. Anderson in it to second. It's a third place now for Adam McDowell. A good battle for fourth between Friesen, Spurly Tube and Yo. Free wide. Look at that. Friesen, the real big loser there. Spurly Tube up to fourth. Here comes Gunnar Matheson racing through hard as well. Mathis Wells leads another lap here. They continue to race pretty darn hard behind them, including the 10 of Max Anderson. The points leader, a win would be so good for him. I mean, he's had a, such a good season already for Stuart Haas Racing. Consistent, Mr. Consistent. That was Logan Cloud last year. Anderson might be looking to take that realm, potentially mount a charge for the title. But Mathis Wells once again leads this lap. Anderson in to second. A big third being run from Adam McDowell right now as you go through the field. It's fourth now for Colton Yo. Fifth for Spurly Tube. Up to sixth now. Gunnar Matheson. Seventh is Carter Friesen. Eighth Logan Cloud. It's a ninth for Maggie Quattro, the highest running Hendrick car right now. Battle for tenth between Michael Canto and the 42 of Co Luigi. Up next is Keith Stevens in the four with Tyler Bradley. Your both season one and season two champion. Racing there for the 12th position. 
Behind them, the 12 of Ryan Dalton. Joe Rutkowski runs next. There's Russell French. William Brock. William Seaman again. Struggling for pace so far. Dash Baran is up next. Anthony Charbois. Alexander Rowe. A few that are struggling here at the back. Fader of Joe J. Jefferson. Bulin struggling for pace early on. There's Joe Jefferson in the 47. For JCT Doggerty Racing. Then we have Yepes, Mills, Lee. Kukulon and Rose not having the races they wanted. They've had such good starts. These two teams have been surprise packages. GMS and Geico Racing. Now this week will not help their claim for the chase so far. It's not been what they were wanting so far. And then behind them, Ormond and a few of the other backmarkers. But the, it's Wells who remains out in front. Can he fend them off? As we're just, and we're just nearly coming up to the halfway stage of this race. Is anyone going to find a way past Wells? We've seen overtaking for the lead is possible here. Of course, Wells overtook uh, Adam McDowell for the lead. However, the 18 looks a very strong car. It's going to take a bold move to get past him here today. And maybe one of those drivers is prepared to do that. Max Anderson and Adam McDowell have experience of winning in this series before, as does Mathis Wells here, so... So, you know, anything is possible from this position where they are right now. Uh, but Wells, probably looking as your favourite from, from this position on. Currently, it's all good right now. Adam McDowell now is going to challenge for second. The two car, Penske Racing, who have not been... But you can really say they're the, they've had the greatest start so far. They need to win desperately. It'll be a big boost towards that team. And, but that did not work out. Instead, Colton Yo has gone through it third. A good race for Chip Ganassi Racing and the one team. They are up to third, but the front two have pulled a nice, slick advantage over the rest of them. It's Wells and Anderson who could settle this between themselves if we go caution free from now on. And the um, culmination of this race right now, it could go down to that right now. Wells leads so far. Can he remain out front? Maybe that could be a again a great run for the team to go and win. Anderson there, but Colton Yo is making some nice headway right now in to these top two positions. You cannot deny that right now. And now, Yo putting the bumper to the back of the 10. Look at this from Colton. Yo, what a move from the one team. He has had a pretty good season so far. You have to admit for Chip Ganassi Racing, he's probably been the best driver they've had currently. He's running consistently again. What a battle this is for second. But this is just going to please the 18 of Mathis Wells, who can pull away pretty much from here. And uh, maybe, you know, just win this race dominantly. However, Yo's not going to give that up, I don't think. He's, he's, he's quick. He is very quick indeed. Right now. Um, will, he get, will he get a chance to potentially um, make a move on the 18? Possibly. He has caught him. He's reeled him in here at an alarming rate. Mathis Wells. Might have to um, might have to get switch on defensive mode here because Colton Yo is coming with a fierce charge as the pack has bunched up once again. Can Yo find a move? Anderson waits in the wings in third. Spurly tube up to fourth for good fifth for Gunnar Matheson right now. But here we go again. Yo working across the back bumper of. 
the 18 Joe Gibbs Toyota of Mathis Wells. It's a good run. Here he goes towards the inside. Colton Yo trying to make his move. The inside, not the favourable groove in turns three and four. That could cost him dearly here. Here comes Anderson back in to second. Max Anderson. Now trying to make a nice move, but this again, pleasing Wells, who is pulling an even further gap over the rest of the field now. As we now have just four to go. Does Mathis Wells hold on for the lead? This gap is looking better and better from here on as they battle it out for second. Spurly Tube trying to get involved in the party. It's a tight battle for second, but Mathis Wells is just pulling away in the 18, trying to get his first victory of season number three. And on the inside, he just has to fend them off for a few more laps. Two to go, this time for Mathis Wells. Colton Yo might just hang on for second. It's been a better race than the Mid-Jewel Series race. But Mathis Wells, once again, you can say, has just dominated the track, dominated the day. We've seen some good racing, but the lead battle has pretty much been non-existent. Wells has just got to drive it without no mistakes for one more lap. And the white flag flies at Vegas. Mathis Wells leads. It's been a superb dominant performance from Mathis Wells in the 18. It's exactly what he needed after two poor... The first two races being extremely poor. Joe Gibbs going to go to victory lane for the first time this season. Colton Yo's looking. He forced him up the track. Not going to be enough. Mathis Wells wins at Vegas. What a performance from Mathis Wells. He seals it. He holds on for it. He books his spot in the chase for season three. And that's exactly what this team needed after a disappointing first two races. Mathis Wells is going to victory lane today. And he is locked into the chase. Finishing results will be in the Discord as well as point standings. Thank you for watching our UK. Catch you at Rockingham for more NIUK action. Till next time, we'll see you then. Congrats to Mathis. And thank you all for watching.